The previous Ranger T6 generation was pretty much responsible for bringing the term lifestyle truck to the mid-sized pickup category. Models like the Wild Track and of course the iconic Raptor helped boost the image of the Ranger to be more than just a simple workhorse vehicle, a trend that many of its competitors soon follow. There is now a new second generation Ranger T6 and it is bold, large and in charge. So without further ado, let's check out the new Ranger and this is ABB Automotive. As if the previous generation model was not macho enough, the new second generation Ford Ranger is now even more bolder and tougher looking. The front end is definitely a statement with its large center grille and a square-ish design. Although all Rangers look alike, there are some small differences in detail between all trim level. Speaking of the trim level, there are quite a few. The base XL trim Ranger can be had either as a single cap or a double cap body style. From there, all trim level are double cap, which are the XLT, XLT Plus, as well as the top of the range Wild Track variant. Going back to the front, all Ranger except the best XL gets this nice looking C shaped LED data running light as well as front fog lamps. All models now also get this built-in single tow hook, although the Wild Track gets two tow hook instead. To the side, the strong shoulder line and increase in wheelbase give the Ranger a strong and athletic look. In terms of wheels, the base XL Great Ranger gets 16-inch alloy wheels, both for the single and double cab models. The XLT and XLT Plus gets a slightly larger 17-inch alloy wheels. Lastly, the Wild Track gets the largest coming in at 18 inches. All Ranger comes standard with an integrated sidestep as well as sport bar for all double cab variants. In the rear, the cargo bed on the double cab measures up to 1330 liter and comes standard with a bed liner. Unique to the Wild Track variant, is an integrated rear step on the outer rear bumper for ease of entry and step up into the bed. There is also an integrated door handle and the Ranger name lettering is stamped into the rear tailgate. In terms of ground clearance, all Ford Ranger measures up to 230mm of clearance thanks to double wishbone front suspension as well as a leaf spring solid axle rear setup. Under the hood, the base XL and XLT truck gets the familiar 2.0 liter turbo diesel i4 engine that makes around 170 PS and 405 Nm of torque. That power is sent through either a 6 speed automatic or a 6 speed manual to all four wheels via the electronic shift on the fly 4x4 system. The higher XLT Plus and Wild Track Ranger, on the other hand, is powered by the same 2.0 liter engine but this time around equipped with a bi turbo charge system that's right two turbos instead of one this resulted in a bump of power up to 210 ps as well as 500 newton meters of torque the xlt plus as well as wild track can only be had with a 10 speed automatic transmission and the same electronic shift on the fly 4x4 system 
everything inside, the same square-ish exterior design has been carried forward into the cabin. The dashboard is now more upright and has a clean design. The biggest and obvious highlight is the standard massive 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system that supports both Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. That is right, you get this screen as standard equipment even in the base XL workhorse truck, which is nothing short of amazing. As if that screen is not big enough, the top of the range Wildtrak Ranger gets an even larger touchscreen coming in at 12.1 inches. The seats are supportive up front and the cabin is now roomier thanks to the increased wheelbase length. And of course, not forgetting the standard 8-inch digital instrument cluster that absolutely moved the Ford Ranger up market. Speaking of the market, the cheapest entry point of the Ford Ranger starts with the XL single cab manual coming in at 104,388 ringgit in East Malaysia without insurance. The double cab XL manual and XL automatic will come in at 114,000 888 ringgit as well as 119,888 ringgit respectfully. For the XL truck, you will get the previously mentioned 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system and 8-inch digital instrument display, 6 airbags, stability with traction control, trailer sway assist, hill descent control, hill start assist, electronic dual zone climate control, body color bumpers, as well as isofic rear child mount. The mid-level XLT automatic and manual is priced at 129,888 ringgit as well as 135,388 ringgit respectively. The XLT trim level gets you power folding outside mirrors, a multi-function steering wheel, body color door handle as well as mirror, a reverse parking camera, Killer's entry with push button vehicle start, as well as rain sensing wipers. Coming in at 148,388 ringgit, the XLT Plus Automatic gets you more features such as ADAS system that include autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keeping assist, as well as an easy lift tailgate. And finally, the top of the range Wildtrak will set you back 174,388 ringgit. This fully loaded Ranger gets you plenty of bells and whistles such as leather upholstery with orange stitching, an 8-way power driver seat, wireless phone charger, a 360-degree camera, a side puddle lamp, automatic dimming rear view mirror, and more safety aids such as blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, automatic high beam, as well as evasive steer assist. All of the Ford Ranger in Malaysia come standard with 5 years or 160,000 km warranty or whichever comes first. Okay guys, so I'm driving the new uh, Ford Ranger. So currently, the model I'm driving right now is the Ranger XLT Plus. Okay, so the range starts with XLT, I eh, know, the range starts with XL and then you have the regular XLT and then this one, XLT Plus and then at the top of the range is um, the Wildtrak. Okay, and then uh, coming soon, there will be the new Raptor, of course, that is launching soon. Um, but that's, uh, that car is a whole new other video, okay. So for now, I'm just like uh, covering the regular Ranger first. Right, so currently I'm in the XLT Plus. The engine is the 2.0 uh, uh, bi turbo engine and it has the 10 speed automatic. So, this is the same drivetrain that you can find in the Wild Track, okay, at the top of the range. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so I've been driving this uh, Ford Ranger XLT Plus for a while now. Uh, what is my first impression of this truck? It is a very refined truck. Um, everything is super super smooth. Um, uh, I barely hear the engine note if I'm idling. Like the sound insulation is really really good inside here. Um, that 2 liter bi-turbo engine, very very talky. 
the turbo boost comes down very very early I, you just smash the throttle a bit you already got the response um, combined with the steering wheel the steering wheel has this like light feel to it it actually makes like driving the uh, Ranger a very easy car to drive in my opinion especially for town use um, it, it feels like I'm not driving a big heavy truck at all um, it feels like I'm driving an SUV or some sort like that and then with this XLT uh, plus model uh, I have this leather wrap steering wheel which is nice to touch so yeah it does feel quite premium um, yeah I'm so far loving this first impression uh, the Ford Ranger really is an amazing truck in terms of visibility again not an issue um, you have very very big side mirror it's very very wide um, you can see pretty much everything in the side mirror um, looking forward not much issue the a pillar is surprisingly thin um, compared to the older uh, Ranger which I kind of like improve visibility a lot and towards the back also you have a nice big square window so not an issue in terms of visibility um, what do you call that uh, you don't have any awkward shape window so yeah visibility is definitely not an issue in terms of ride so this car now um, the wheelbase is slightly lengthened and the track is also slightly widened okay so personally i don't feel that much different compared to the old ranger um, it still has that sort of like truck feel but compared to most of its competitor this is definitely more civilized okay um, i do feel like this is definitely one of the better sort of like comfort level truck in the market um, it is definitely refined okay uh, now another thing that i want to mention also about this car is that for a long pickup truck it's actually quite maneuverable like the turning radius for this truck is very very short so even if you are in a tight situation like making a simple u-turn uh, it's not uh, that difficult at all yeah now the one thing that amazed me about this new Ford Ranger is that even in the base model you get this very big 10.2 inch touchscreen infotainment system uh, in, the, in the center console and then on top of that you also get a standard uh, 8 inch digital instrument display in front of you in the base truck also you still have this so it's it's sort of like making the Ranger move up market a bit in my opinion because even in the workhorse truck, the single cab truck you have those two screens which is like if you think about 10 years ago or 5 years ago this is something mostly reserved in like maybe like a lot high-end luxury car but looking at the center console here I am definitely a fan of this very big screen um, some of my friend has sort of like joke around and make a meme like this screen now feels like the Tesla screen like that's how big this screen is um, for Ford to put both of these features as standard equipment I am very very amazed um, applaud to you Ford uh, another thing that I like about Ford Ranger is that um, even with the original remember the T6 model last time I would say like that, that new version uh, Ford it always um, what they call put safety ahead of most of the uh, the competitors so previously the ranger was one of the first truck to offer like traction control you know electronic stability program so now even with this uh this generation um all ford ranger comes standard with six airbags even the base xl model comes with six airbags and then uh, for the top of the range while track you get a lot of advanced driver assistance system so i think um ford Ranger is still one of the more like high tech and sort of like safest truck out there no denying okay um, it is definitely uh, what you call a very uh, technologically rich truck yeah oh my god this engine is fast <laughs> Okay, you can easily break the law with this with this drive train. <laughs> no, no, it's so refined and the cabin is so silent. It's like you you take out down, oh you're doing hundred or oh, but then I'm actually I feel like I'm driving maybe what seventy like that. Yeah. Tidak rasa. You don't even know you hit one hundred. Yeah, it's true. 
this truck is so refined, you know. I'm getting the same like vibe in my mom's Mercedes Benz. <laughs> That's like the vibe I'm getting now. Like it's so refined. Like it's I feel so isolated from the road. And I somehow the time I get every time I look back only I realize that I'm driving a pickup truck. But like looking forward, like I feel like I'm in an SUV, you know? So the Ford Ranger so I'm just getting like a taste of it. This is just the XLT model. It's not even like the top of the range. Uh, it's a nice truck lah. I mean like when like considering all the truck models, this is still one of the top, one of the best uh, truck out there. Um, I feel even in this XLT model, I feel kind of special. <laughs> um, especially with the technology lah, the screen in front of me, the power. It's just very very responsive. The 10 speed automatic also I think the calibration is really really good. Um, it's not that hard of a truck to drive. I don't feel like I'm driving a big heavy truck. I'm just driving like a very powerful uh, what do you call a light truck like that. So that's how I feel in this in this uh, new Ranger. It's very refined. Um, yeah, if you are in the market looking for a new truck, you should definitely give the Ranger a look. Um, even for those of you who are looking for like entry level truck, um, yeah, the, the Ranger is quite nice. Yeah, quite nice even for an entry level truck. So it's a nice, nice truck. Okay guys, we have come to the end of this video and I do hope you enjoy watching it. So before I wrap up, on top of doing YouTube videos, I'm also actually running my own personalized polishing as well as detailing service here in my hometown of Miri, Sarawak. So if you are in the area and you wish to get your vehicles done by yours truly, do find my contacts in the description below. I would like to say thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.